and not only clears the skies of uh, air threats, but also with the air-to-ground munitions can go in there and basically take out emerging threats. This plane is the culmination of over two decades of design and testing and has incorporated the best features from all the strike planes currently in service. The special thing about the Raptor is we've taken uh, lessons learned from uh, the ages of air combat and we've taken the attributes of what would you like to basically do your job as a fighter pilot and we put them into one aircraft. Stealth has been around a long time. With the F-A-22, we call it fourth generation. We've taken all that lessons learned to not only be able to, from a shape or applications, to not be seen or to be seen very late by threat radars, but also be able to maintain that. So it's not just go for one mission. I need to be able to maintain that on the ramp for a persistent capability. The F-117 had to be angular to be stealthy. But advances in stealth technology mean the F-A-22 can have familiar curved aerodynamic surfaces and still remain invisible to radar. The Raptor carries powerful electrical detection systems that can scan the airspace up to 1,180 kilometers around it. This ability to spot the enemy from such a large distance combined with its invisibility gives the Raptor pilots an unbeatable advantage in combat. First thing with the Raptor is they don't see you. I see them, but they don't see me. So now if I need to, I can go ahead and engage them and make them go away. Now I can get into within visual range and with, uh, again, my stealth and capability to maneuver, very quickly I can uh, attrit that threat and leave the area. So I lose a lot less heartbeats. Unlike its predecessor, the F-117, the Raptor is very fast, reaching nearly twice the speed of sound. It has two staggeringly powerful engines that produce 70,000 pounds of thrust. It also has a secret engine advance called Super Cruise that maintains supersonic speed without using an afterburner. The Raptor was built to actually maneuver at high altitude, above 50,000 feet, and to be able to go up there in what we call super cruise, essentially go supersonic, faster than the speed of sound, without using the afterburner, so I don't use a lot of fuel. Super cruise has another advantage in combat. The main thing at night, if I go to afterburner in my F-15 that I've flown for 18 years, I've got this big flame coming out the back, so everybody sees me anywhere from the guy with a gun on the ground to uh, all the surface-to-air missiles. With the capability to go fast, basically without using this big flame out the back, super cruise, then I have a lot uh, less susceptibility to the said threats. Like the F-16 and the F-117, the basic design of the F-A-22 is highly unstable and totally dependent on computers to fly. You basically put the stick where you need it and the throttles where you need it and it'll do the rest. It allows you to maneuver the airplane to the extremes and able to ultimately get the job done and still be able to maintain control. The Raptor has one last trick up its sleeve, thrust vectoring. Inspired by the Harrier jump jet, it can direct the thrust from its engines up and down. It can't take off vertically or hover, but the system radically improves its air maneuverability. The thrust vector capability of the Raptor gives it an opportunity to make it turn a lot quicker and uh, continue to be able to basically point your nose. Uh, in a regular type of uh, basic fighter maneuver, he who gets his nose uh, in a weapons envelope first wins the fight. So with this actual thrust vectoring capability, we can really turn the airplane and essentially maneuver it twice uh, as better as other airplanes. At an estimated cost of over $120 million each, the F-A-22 is one of the most technologically advanced military planes ever built. It is much more sophisticated and deadly than any enemy plane it is ever likely to come up against. Just knowing you might be up against a Raptor is enough to keep your aircraft on the ground. With the F-A-22 Raptor, we can go down there and kick down the door and make sure as threats emerge, I can take them out. It's a lethal weapon, it's a lethal deterrent. While the U.S. has been developing the Raptor, Europe has been creating its own super strike plane.